Hi everyone, welcome to Get Ready With Me, Louise. I'm in a mood. I don't know. I don't really know how I feel about this look either. I think the blush is too much. I think I want a little ham on it. I think the lip is okay with the eye look, but I think it's the blush that's throwing me off. It could be the lip because we all know I don't usually wear a lip like this. But anyway, let's get started. I am wearing my L'Oreal Pro Glow. I've just been stuck on this foundation. I don't know why. I think it's because it's just quick and easy. For concealer, I'm wearing the Item Beauty. Alright, let me check to make sure I'm right. Yeah, item. I I'm getting through that one. It's going to be gone here in no time at all. Um, I set the under eyes in T-Zone with the uh, translucent powder by uh, JSC. And then I set the rest of the face with the fair translucent powder in JSC. I've come to the conclusion that I'm just using up these products just to, you know, get them out of here. Do I like that powder? Yes. Will I repurchase it? Probably, honestly, no. I didn't even repurchase, I didn't even purchase the last powder. It just didn't intrigue me. And the names, it's like, it's just too much. Too much, you know? And I don't mind, like, controversy aside, I'm looking at makeup, like, his makeup is great. That brand's makeup is really good. It really is. But it's just not intriguing anymore. Like, there's nothing to it that's like, ooh, I need it. Or, ooh, that is really pretty. Or, you know what I mean? I don't know. And then the names just completely throw me off. Just completely. For bronzer, I'm wearing the YSL bronzer. Maybe that's what's thrown it off. Maybe this isn't dark enough for this blush. Maybe that's what it is. I don't know. I, I'm trying to figure it out in my head. I just don't feel good in this look. And it's not, and believe it or not, it's not the eye. I really like the way the eye looks. It's very dark. Very much not me, but I like it. I think this is in shade 02, I think. It's the second shade, that's all I can tell you. Then for blush and highlighter, uh, that's where we're using the Berry Pop Cheek Trio by Natasha Denona. I think I just went a little too ham with that um, blush, to be honest. The highlighter is gorgeous. I didn't top it today with this, but, you know. Because I hadn't played with that in a while and I wanted to get a feeling of it again. Maybe I should top it with that. Maybe it would tone it down a little bit. I don't know. Or the blush just isn't going with that bronze. Or something's going on that's just throwing it all off for me. For the lip, I'm wearing the lip liner in Berry Pop and the lipstick in Berry Pop. I'm pretty sure that's the name of it, right? Yeah. So lipstick, lip liner. And then for the eyeshadow pad, I pulled out the Xenon palette because it's been a while since I've even played with this. And uh, to be fair, I probably have only played with this twice. And both for the reviews. It's just not my color story. But, you know, we do have, you know, fall and winter coming. And this is more this kind of look. Especially like Halloween and stuff so I thought why not to be fair I was actually going to grab the kiss palette by glam light I'm just gonna be honest but I opened it and it just didn't call to me it just didn't so that's where this one came in this was my next second pick so let's get started with this the first shade we're going to go to is night sky and i kind of did do this look a little different than i usually apply my eyeshadow so i don't know but we're going to go into night sky which is this shade right here and usually you all know i'm gonna just sort of like put this shade where i want it it looks crazy, I know, and dark, I know. But I'm gonna put it where I want it, and then go back and blend. 
because this is so dark, I get scared. That I'm going to mess it up, right? As with most things that are like this. But I'm going to do it like this and see. It turned out okay. I still think I feel more comfortable doing it my way. The way I usually do my makeup, you know. Where I start with the lightest shade, go to the darkest, work my way into it. And I think it's because it works my way into like bravery. But I will say that by doing it this way, it didn't like really affect the eye look itself. Like I really do en enjoy how it turned out. It threw me for a little minute. It threw me for a while. I'm not gonna lie. Doing it this way threw me for a while. I thought I really did really mess this up from the get-go because I'm just not used to it and trust the process isn't something that I'm good at doing. I will not lie. <laughs> I am not good at that at all. But once, you know, I did what I needed to do, it turned out okay. Is it my favorite? No. But is it pretty? Yeah, I do think it is a pretty look. I do. And I will say these shades are so deep and dark. Like, they're not playing. So don't think that they are. If you go into these, go in with a light hand. Or expect to be blending for a while. You know, something along those lines. I'm going to take that same shade along the lower lash line. And just like the top, I'm just sort of getting it there. And then I'll blend it. Out once I get it where I need it to go, you know. Right now, it's kind of just all about like where do I want this placed and stuff like that. Now we're going to go into the shade Snurt, which is the shade right here, and we're going to start to like blend somewhat. And I will say that I did spend a good bit of blending on this look again this isn't a look I do a lot of by no means so you know do I really knew what I was doing no not really I kind of just wanted to sit down and kind of play to be fair at least that's the thought process I was giving myself, you know, I just wanted to play, and I did, I did, maybe a little too much, maybe I went a little bit too far, but I still played nonetheless. But I don't think it turned out that bad, I really don't. It could have been better for sure. But it could have been worse. You know? Could have been a little bit of both. Could have been better, could have been worse.
but even though this isn't what I thought it was going to be, like, it, the eye's not what's really throwing me off. It, I, I think it is the cheek, not the eye. Because I did think it was the eye at first, I won't lie. But the more I look at the eye, I'm like, actually, it's not that bad. It's not. It's not that good. It's not that bad. Alright. Now we're going to go into the shade... I, I ain't saying the same thing. This shade right here. I'm not for sure. I'm going to put that on the outer corner. And in about a third. Because I do want that depth to be out there. You do want to be careful with these shades here, these metallic shades. You could get a little bit of fallout, just so you know. If you're careful, you won't. But you could. Alright. Then, we're going to... Let me work this off because... I'm not for sure. If I use the right brush or not. Okay. Now we're going to go into Supersonic. No. Super very broad. Super iconic. Ionic. Super ionic? What is this one? You know what? It's this shade right here. This one. Super something. It's super silver. That's what it is. And it is gorgeous. And we are going to put it all over the about two-thirds of the lid. Oh, oh gosh, that's so pretty. I mean, that's just stunning. To be fair, I really was going to put that metallic shade here. That I put on that out corner all over the lid. I knew it would be too dark. But I was thinking if I did that and then use the shade Cellar stellar it's like a the formula is a little bit gritty but it feels like um i feel like it would look like stars almost but i wasn't for sure if that's the way it would turn out so i didn't do that and i do have to go out so i really couldn't take that big of a chance on if it didn't turn out the way i thought it would it'd be too dark and i would look like i'm a madman because, well, that's kind of what would happen. So, I didn't do that. But we are going to take the shade. What shade did I use? I think I used Rhyme. No. Yeah. Rhyme. And then we'll put that in the inner corner here. And I'm basically just patting it on. Because I really just want that to stay right there, you know. And I do see a little bit of fallout due to my lashes. So I will have to get that off. I think I kind of went in a little bit too dark on this side compared to this side. little bit evener. Not really, but we'll pretend. For the waterline, I'm using Colourpop in Hustler. 
And we're just going to run that along the bottom wash or bottom water line and the top water line. For mascara, what did I use? Oh yeah, the Clinique High Impact Mascara for the top lashes. Where is it, Chanel? What? What? Why is it, bye bye? Come here. I'm with the girl. She never leaves me. Thank goodness. I'm so attached to that cat. I really don't even know what I do with someone like a girl. She eats my real hair brushes and will be ma mad. She tends to do that. That's why I actually have most of my natural hair. And I don't know about y'all if you have cats and natural hair brushes. I wouldn't think they could still smell like animal. I mean, I could see, like, thinking about it, why it would. But at the same time, I'm like, can it though? But she'll go after my natural brushes like nothing. And she'll start to eat them. And I just spent too much money on that, so I can't have that. I do like this mascara, too. I think it's... I do think this look deserves flashes. line we're going to use the Lancome Death and Seals. You know what else I started thinking tonight? I bet you I'm really going to look like a raccoon taking this off. Because I don't think I've worn this much black in one look in a really long time. Really, really long time. So that ought to be fun. Just saying. Alright, now. What did I do with that spot? Oily, oily thing. I usually have it sitting. Oh, there it is. Right here. And here's the thing with this look. Like, I think it's pretty. 
And I just think some people can really wear it and own it. And it's them through and through. You know what I mean? Where with me, I look at it and it's pretty. The shadows are easy to work with. They're beautiful. The gradient. All that stuff, right? But it's like the look owns me instead of me owning it. It's like it's too much. It's, And I know that's like personality and, and who you are, you know? So I can see where... This palette, I'd almost bet that it's probably one of her least uh, selling palettes. Because there's only going to be a certain few that this palette is going to work for. In, in my opinion. You know what I mean? Like, out, black, outside of lining, I don't really use the black. And then, not just that, like, I use, if I am going to use a black... There's probably a red or a purple involved in the look somehow, some way. So, where the majority of me using this palette is obviously going to be in the metallics. So, there is a plus in the fact that, you know, there are quite a few of those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So really, there's more than half the palette into that. So I will get use out of half the palette, most likely, for sure. At least half the palette I could get use out of. But, again, it would be more of a companion palette and not a solo palette. Does it go from light to dark? Yeah, it goes light to dark. Um, as far as a mid-tone, yeah. You know, maybe, I guess, there's one or two. Not really, but it's almost like it goes from very light to light, medium dark. You miss the whole, like, or tan dark, really, because you miss the whole section of medium, you know, in, in a way. But I do think that, you know, the palette is for some people. It definitely technically wasn't made for me. But it was made for me in the part of the fact that I, call, I buy everything. And I do like the formulas that are in here. They are beautiful. And the colors are beautiful. It's just the colors aren't me. But if I do use it, like I said, I've used it twice. This is the third time. So if I get to use it three times out of a year, you know, that means I spent twenty dollars on it and if I do it for two years then I could you know like if you start dividing you know it might be worth it I don't know it would probably never be worth it technically for me in the sense of use but in the sense of comparing in the sense of knowing I have it in the sense of if somebody else needed it I have it you know what I mean? That's basically where I go. I don't regret it. I'll never regret buying anything. Even if it's the worst formula in the whole wide world. I won't tell you to buy it. But I wouldn't regret it. You know? So you... But that's each individual personal thing. But yeah. I was feeling a little dark today. I'm about at my wit's ends to be honest with you. So I just felt like matching my eye look to my energy to be fair. And I pretty much nailed it. Like my shirt's gray, my lid's gray. My pants are black, my shoes are black, my socks are black. That's all black, you know? So it kind of all matches really to be fair. I just think it's the bronzer. I'm still going with bronzer. Anyway, that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helped in some way. I doubt it did. Other than the fact that A, some people just don't look good in this. B, some people just don't know how to apply these colors. Once again, me. And three, this color storm just might not be for you. Or, flip side, it may all be for you, you know? But it had been a while, like I said, since I played with it. So I just wanted to, you know, refresh my memory on it. 
I would have to say this is probably almost my least favorite palette. But then there's the Yucca. Eh. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Like, even though I don't like this palette, there is like this snow bow. That is a gorgeous color, that snow bow. Look at that right there. Okay. Or skift. Look at that. I mean, there are some really gorgeous shades in this palette. I mean, even that silver on my lid, like, come on. That is as silver as silver can be. But, I will let you know. Go. You let me know what you would like to see because I'm running out of ideas here. And I'm kind of getting lost in the sea of all my makeup because I just, I'm working now and not much but I, I'm I'm working trying to catch up here and do this and that and I'm falling behind here in like separating and all that organizing but let me know your thought your ideas and thoughts um, if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe ring the bell hit all that way you're notified when I upload I upload every day but Sunday and I will see you in my next one until then stay safe stay healthy bye